Luis Vasquez, uh, and this is my family. Natalie. <laughs> and this is our daughter, Paulina. <laughs> We've been involved with the Viking Army since late 2010, pretty much when the club started yeah. uh, from early beginning. So for me personally, it all started in 101 when I met um, uh, founding members, Chupi and Benny. Uh, it was kind of funny because it all started me trying to buy a shirt that I knew I wasn't going to fit into, but <laughs> just because I knew what the atmospheres that this guy, you know, this group of people created in 101, I wanted to, um, you know, be part of what they were doing because I thought it was different and, and it drew attention. So it all started with meeting up. I remember um, Chupi in 109 trying to buy a shirt from him um, for the Viking Army, which was one of the early t-shirts that they were trying to make. Um, late 2010 as, as our first um, inaugural season in Rebel Arena. The first game of the um, inaugural season at Rebel Arena, we, uh, we went to it uh, because we saw advertisement and you know, we both liked watching football and what better way to go to a local game. Um, so we've always been going to, to the Rebels game since then. Um, he, we didn't sit in the supporter sections uh, that first game, but every game after that, pretty much we, we did. So, um, late 2010 season finished, and it was, uh, it was quite interesting because it was when the Viking Army started developing, you know, that, that off season um, into the 2011 season brought a lot of attention into what the Viking Army was about because there was talks with the team and trying to make the club um, official and all that. So what ended up happening was that those little bonds that were created towards the 2010, late, late during the 2010 year, now were built into more friendships and conversations started happening with the front office and all that. And at that point, it's when I decided that I really wanted, wanted to be involved with the Viking Army. And um, I think the bond that was happening between me and Chupi, we became real close friends at that time. Um, you know, that made it a lot easier to try to work with him and try to, um, you know, start the Viking Army um, in the right way and stuff like that. And we had a lot of board members at that time. I wasn't a board member um, in the early days. I was, just a, I was just a member, but I was very involved in trying to help Chup, um, Jason at that time, um, Benny and... Uh, it okay, was uh, Benny and Kevin um, during those first days, and um, it was really interesting because every time that um, there was some sort of event happening, you know, it didn't matter what was going on, whether it was stress at work or, or it was, um, you know, life stress as, as it is. I always remember back in those days as if there was a Viking Army event happening that weekend, then I know that was the one outlet that I needed to try to steam off some stress and it always worked out that way. After being involved um, in the early years of, uh, of the Viking Army, um, there's a lot of stuff that always needed help like tailgating and you know setting up before um, the bus trips we will take and you know there's a lot of help that I feel as though you know I could always um, um, provide the club with. So when the opening for the first year that the elections were happening for the board, I decided to run. That was um, 2013. So from 2013 on to 2017, I was part of the the board of directors for the Viking Army. Um. So so yeah, it was it was the first year. It was free membership. We had like over a thousand people sign up. But every year after that, it was it was more about what could we do to make this club better. And I and I think that. I think that a lot of people devoted a lot of time into um, into figuring out the things that we could do to make this club better. And I think that it, as years go by, a lot of things will change. A lot of people will come and go. But as long as we keep trying to have that um, mentality that this is this is not just for you know uh, for a certain group of people, but for the whole club, I think the club will continue to grow and. You know, people will continue to have fun, and that's what keeps bringing new people into the club. And it, I think it's always going to get better. You know, we we um we would always be part of the Rebel family, no matter what. Um, even though our you know our, the size of our family got a little bigger now, you know, there's always um, time and room to um, to invest in going to Rebel games, especially with them. 
with my wife and my daughter eventually when she's able to go to the stadium. Um, and it's it's gonna always be fun trying to see you know how she adapts to it, you know how much she likes it. Uh, I think I'm always gonna want to push it on her, but you know only time will tell. But I'm sure she'll love it.